not yeah. only did his fans legitimately hate me because they think they're married to him or something, you know, yeah. it's like sometimes it's everybody wants like death baby. threats. Yeah, I've gotten them. Yeah. And we definitely <laughs> don't date. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, we don't even date. Yeah. Not at all. Numb nuts over here. We're going back. We're going back to P-Town, Alaska. Now, give me a little bit of your history. Give me a little I bit mean, of where you come from. What you all about? Well, I mean, you know. Well, I know. But um, well, you cut me off. I was gonna say oh. you know how amazing Palaka is. Um, Best I, chilies I've ever been to. Well, we don't have many. We do now. There's a lot more. You know, there's a lot more restaurants when we go back now. But and Nico, I love Nico's. Nico's. Shout out to Nico's. Anyway, I'm the youngest of what? Matt, Jenny, Jeff, Lee. Me? Yeah, you're the youngest. I'm cousin. the youngest uh, of the McCool kids, which means one, I got beat up a lot or attempted to beat up a lot. I've, you know, had to get scrappy at a young age, uh, you know, getting checked on the basketball court, mainly by Jenny. Um, and your brother. And my brother. Yeah. And we had those pointy bushes around the basketball court, you know, that I get tossed into. Anyway, pretty tough at a young age. Um, being a McCool, you know, you were going to be outside playing games your entire childhood. Uh, you're going to throw a football. You learned how to throw the right way. Uh, no crying in baseball, no crying whatsoever. You go out there and, you know, so. I mean, I didn't want to cut you off, but I mean, learning how to throw a football was probably one of the best things that you ever, I mean, that was one of the best yeah. things that's ever happened to you learn, learning wise, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you say so. I'm just, I'm just going to say, have you, do you, you've heard the story? I've heard right? the story. I've heard the story. I think of, everybody, uh, since you did on the grandest stage of the all, of all at your Hall of Fame speech, you just, you know, told, was the that world, in told the world the millions and millions about how long I chased you and courted you. Everybody's got the story. Oh, it, I mean, it was, it was, I mean, exhausting. it was bad. It was exhausting. It was, exhausting. It was, exhausting. <laughs> it was I mean, exhausting. It was like, it was, like white on rye. It was, it was hard. But it's so, like, I had a rule. I had a rule, like you don't, you, know, you don't eat where you work. You don't sleep where you work. Yeah, yeah. You so don't she, date coworkers. Yeah, you don't do that. <laughs> it's bad. And um, so, you know, on a typical TV day, we get there. I don't know, noon, one o'clock, and uh, you know the crews the the roadies are still bringing in the sets and everything but the floor stays empty for a while and uh i happened to get there and um i walked out onto the bowl into the bowl you know that's what they uh, yeah you know you know in a in a venue and a few of the guys and michelle were throwing a football i had a i had a no, what no you weren't there. I no, I'm know. sorry. I, I got that wrong. I got that wrong. I was throwing the Lies. football. Lies. No, this is See, the truth. See, he, he can't keep up with this. <laughs> I can't, can't keep him up. <laughs> I was throwing the football with, with some of the other guys, and it was it was kind of embarrassing because, you know, I mean, I, I'm i throwing a frozen Tight. rope. Yeah. Know, yeah, every single time. 50 40 yards. yards. Essentially Peyton Manning. I mean, you know, yeah. like, but, you know, I had, like, Brett Favre velocity. I mean, oh, it was well, just, like, yeah. crazy. These guys are throwing these wounded ducks back at me. And it was like, my gosh, did you guys ever play sports as kids? I mean, anyway. So out comes the blonde bomber here. One of them dropped the wall, yeah, uh, like which was normal. And uh, After you hit him right in the chest, right? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I mean, perfect just, pass. Yeah. 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 The Dan Marino of WWE over oh, here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. if you want to put it that way, you can. I mean, I, I didn't say it, good. but. But. Uh, Anyway, so the ball goes rolling up to her feet. She reaches down. I'm thinking to myself, oh, boy. Anyway, because, you know, she adjusting her hand on the ball and everything. I'm like, gosh. Who? Anyway, she throws, I don't know, 35-yard, maybe 40-yard, just she throws a seed, a perfect spiral to, I think it was um, Mordecai. <laughs> Hit him right in the hands. Of course, he dropped it. From what I mean, I only knew reason I knew that he dropped it because I could hear it hitting. Because yeah. my eyes were, excuse me, my eyes were fixated 
on the football o on the no uh, they were fixated oh, wow. on you because oh. i didn't think something like that could throw a football like that i'm like wow it's a little judgmental well right? I'm, I'm just yeah. saying Jeez, i'm just saying the, I, I mean i didn't think i'd marry something like that <laughs> I mean, you know how that I sounds hey, like. Geez. Well, we'll we'll get to that. Believe me, <laughs> oh, I'm sure hey. we'll, we'll get to that part. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it was just like I'd, I'd never seen at that point. I'd never seen a girl throw a football like that. Well, you know, we were growing up th playing. Did you ever play tackle loco? Is that a play? The tackle <laughs> loco. Tackle what loco. is a tackle loco? Okay, maybe we made that up. No, I swear it's a thing. Maybe it's a play. Good thing. You just throw it. I risk my with your okay, okay. stick and your tire. <laughs> no, you? a, a, a football. You throw it up in the air. This might also be held. To, you know, you throw it up in the air. Somebody catches it and then runs with it, and everybody else just. I don't know why you'd go for the ball. Everybody else just comes to cream you and tackle try to you. Tackle yeah, you. that's it. So. I mean, <laughs> no, we didn't play that. Yeah, we didn't play that. that? Okay, no, they well, didn't play that. Okay, that was just one of the mini games we played. Anyway. So I digress. Anyway, so what year was this that you threw the football? What, when what, you'll have it? to ask Mr. Uh, Memory I fell over in love here. She threw a football. Oh, yes. Memory uh, guy. God, you should no, know no, the no, date, no. time, and right? everything no, of this no, no, moment. No, no. There's a lot more going on. I mean, she's already pursuing me. Oh, like, good lord. Like, oh, Jesus. Here we go. What? What? What year is? Where are we at? What's our? You what's don't our know. Seven? I was seven ish. Yeah, probably I was seven ish. Yeah. 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 And uh, you know, I'm just like. Back off, back off. Yeah, you know, and then I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It was just like throwing herself on me. Like it, it, I'm like, hey, you can barely get through a match. I oh, imagine she was probably going to come down there and interfere. Oh and, my gosh, yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, you know? but then I, you know, then I saw her throw the football, and I said, you know Whew. what, I might need to make her day. <laughs> I might need to make her day. Oh, Lottie. I mean, that, that's kind of how it went, right? Was, yeah, wait, yeah. No, yeah. this is your podcast, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna let the people. Th I'm gonna let the people <laughs> think what they want to think. I think I've, I, my audience is, you know, the, maybe we should get sponsored by a, a lie detector test or something. Um, yeah, yeah, that would be. I, uh, I'm almost. I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna stick with prize picks in first form. <laughs> they're, they're good. They're good. Uh, <laughs> now she she has a slightly uh, her variation of the story is a little different. Okay. And I mean, if you would like to, you know, give your version of the, I'll tell you what, I'll make you, I'll I can, what, okay. I'll make you, I'll make you the judge. The judge. I, I could tell you this for years now, I've only heard one side of the story. Because you know what? This humongous platform that he has. Yeah. And reaches globally, you know, he's told the same story. He's so told the same story. And he's told Even the same. Even if I tell a story, they're not going to believe. He's told the same. The Underdigger. He's told the same story to me, just in private. Right. It's the only story I he think has. He believes himself now. He has now told himself this he, enough people to lie where he so believes. Much. Yeah, you know, when people lie so much, they start to believe. So them. I think now, you have, the Undertaker's story. Mm -hmm. You have Mark Calloway's story, mm -hmm. and now it's time for the truth. Don't I need to read an ad or something right now? <laughs> We're gonna do our our ad read afterwards because we're deep we're deep into this. We're deep. Now. We're, we're deep, deep, we're we deep, we deep into this. We're just gonna cut this in and, uh, and post that. It costs, Is we're it warm in here. We're too we're too deep what? into this now. Uh, um, okay. All right. So let's get this out of the way. Yeah. So let's so get this out of the way. So Michelle, before hey babe, hey babe, yeah. I will tell you how beautiful I think you look. All right. Here, all right. Mark. Mark. Yeah. Um, is there a mute on the mic over here? All right. I'm really so I'm all right. Quiet. Before we dive into your career, let, let's let's knock out some of the the personal stuff here of how this miracle happened that Mark ended up with you. Okay. Um. You throw this football. You're apparently, according to him, just on his heels. Yeah. And all that stuff. Did you use the word miracle? For you to wind up with her? Yeah. Yeah, it's a miracle. That's a this is divine intervention. You, We've already discussed this. Yes, you can be replaced. I, I know that I can be replaced. I'm just saying. But also, I believe thou shalt not lie. You know, and uh, so uh, I'm just being honest. Why are you gonna let the truth get in the way of a, a good, good story? story? <laughs> go ahead. So go ahead. Tell your tell your tell your story. How did this all happen? Where did this end up? What happened here? Uh, I'm not well, sure, actually. <laughs> Blink twice if you're in trouble. <laughs> no, despite what he tells everybody, he absolutely courted me. It was 
It was weird. It was weird. Like, I'd be working out in the ring, and he never helped the girls, like, ever. Okay. True story or not? Okay. I, I thought you were going to say, I, I thought you were about to say, I never helped anyone. No, you always helped everyone. And okay. I was the type. Okay. That's fair. No, you're great. Right. Is I'm, that not fair? I, I, that's fair. That's fair, right? That's fair. Okay. And I was always the type, as I'm a cool, I was taught, you know, you work hard, you're first to the building, you're last out of the building, and doesn't matter what you're doing, 100%. Yeah. And uh, and I paid I paid attention to all that. No, number one, see that he was paying attention. Okay, so I paid attention. Okay. No, 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 I don't want to cut you off, but I paid attention because those things mattered to me with it when I'm helping talent. Right, like, but you didn't help girls. So anyway, you know, before it used to be where you'd get there early, and you know, you got Arn Anderson and Fit Finley and Ricky Steamboat, and obviously Mark and whoever helping the guys in the ring. I just want to soak that up. Like, it was on the job training. I want to get all the knowledge I could from. Soak it up. Guys like Double A and the Dragon. Slayer, yeah, the Dragon. I mean, you're silly if you're not seeing Amazing wrestlers. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I thought people were crazy if they weren't out there under this tree. And uh, so, all of a sudden, you know, I'd get in there working and day, I don't know. Day after day, like, he would just start moseying on in and helping a little bit more and getting a little more invested. And, you know, hey, Michelle, hop in and try this. And I'm like, oh, this is weird. Because, you know, he's at the level where I got to respect him. I can't, you know, like, everybody respects The Undertaker. Like, I can't say no or I can't, you know. Yeah. So, you know, he started helping me. Obviously, a lot of knowledge to give. Sometimes a little long-winded knowledge, but it was knowledge. Yes. And um, so. <laughs> Look a gift horse right in the mouth. Just, you know what? Just because I'm passionate. Just because I'm passionate about my, my industry. No, no, no. It, now I'm long It's in everything. It's in everything. It's everything. <laughs> <laughs> I love the passion for the industry, but it's. Go ahead. Okay. Anyway. Go ahead. Anyway. So, you know, people actually started noticing. Um, this is true. Like Charmel and Her friend. Tori. Her friend. A few of the guys. No. Um, I won't give names because I won't throw them under the bus. Uh, but they were like, you know, I think Taker's got like a he's crush. Got a, something. Yeah. I'm like, oh, y'all are crazy. Like, first off, I'm not into long hair tattoo guys. Like, not my jam. Like, at all. Just, yeah. See, it's thank beautiful you. long hair. Thank you. you needed somebody to take Stuff. home to daddy. That. Yeah. How do you explain this? Right? And how it did explain, I was like, okay, before I tell y'all... He's not what y'all would, you know, it's, it's, he's not, don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Right? right. Oh, yeah. Wait, what's yeah. wrong with the cover? Nothing. It's just not my, you know, typical. But look. It ain't Charlotte's I, Web. I adapt it, and it's beautiful, and it's perfect, and we're just yeah. lovely. So anyway, people start noticing. I was like, nah. Then he, you know, following me around a little bit more. Wait. Finding me in the bleachers, just having random conversations, wanting to get to know me a little better. I'm like, okay, again, it's The Undertaker. I can't, like, say, I don't really feel like talking to you. Like, got something to do. But, um, it's a little more and more. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Whoa, hit the brakes. Uh, I don't feel like talking to you? I could, I mean, you I, couldn't I'm not say saying that because I felt that way. I'm just saying if I did feel that way, I couldn't have said that anyway. Because it's clarity The Undertaker. Clarity would be nice. <laughs> You know, this is not the time to be felt like you were under any kind of pressure to do something that oh, you didn't oh, want no, to do. No, 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 no. This is not the time to be insinuating that. any of that. I'm Thank you very much. I'm not insinuating that. I'm not. No, no, no. Be okay, perfectly let's... clear. I did not hold her against her will. No, no, make no, her do no. anything that she did not want to no, do. No, no, no. I don't think anybody can make me ever do anything I didn't want to do. Would you agree ahead, with that? I definitely agree with that. Okay. So anyway, uh, he got to the point where he just kept asking, you know, go get some dinner or let's do this. What I was like, look, if you'll leave me alone, I'll go have dinner with you. Okay. So we had dinner. That's Where'd you have dinner? You left such a... Such where a, did we have you, dinner? You, I'll tell you in a second. But you left such a vital part of the story. I, oh, I, I saved the girl's life. Wait, this... Oh, yeah, this is a fact. Yeah, that's true. I saved but the girl's life. But see, I don't... Oh, I don't, okay. I don't, I don't true. That's true, but see, you got to give me... I don't remember that whole... <laughs> episode we were no, over this shines a positive light on me so that's why you, you don't remember no probably because i don't even remember the last three days of that tour or the 16 days i was in the hospital i don't remember mm. i don't even remember where we were where were we we were in europe i know but 
Yeah, Ireland. Ireland is where we finished. Yeah, so we were in Ireland on a overseas tours, which are grueling in the first place. We do what three state shows, head straight overseas, and what fourteen shows, fourteen cities, and then yeah. come back to the states for three more. I don't know. I think we were on the tail end, like three or four days left of the tour. Yeah. And I hadn't been feeling good. Like everything just hurt, um, and not like wrestling hurt. Like my body was shutting down. It just it hurt. Uh, didn't know how to explain it. Doctors didn't know what was going on. And back then, I wasn't going to tell anybody I was sick because you might lose your spot on the, the roster. You know, it's like, no, I'm still going to wrestle. I'm not going to let anybody know what's really going on. But I was in such pain. Like, I could barely stand up straight to walk. I remember calling the doc in the middle of the night. And it's like, something, something's wrong. And so we get to the show in Ireland. And I don't even know how I ended up on the doctor's. I, I don't remember... She was I, a closest thing to a walking zombie that you could be. I think really. Charmel. I think Charmel. Honestly, I think Charmel was like Mimi. You've got to go see a doctor because I wanted to wrestle that night. Um, and so I go. She makes me go see the doctor. We're in third world country. There's a wire hanger. Ireland's literally. Gonna appreciate that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> shut up. Not third world. <laughs> I didn't mean that, but that, you know, what it's was that building? Line. What was yeah. that? Bloodline. Mine yeah. too. My cool is that. Come on. But what? Describe the training room. Like the no, ceiling tiles. No, it was not like, the same. It was not the same type of venue that you would have here. It well, was, not even. It was, cool. older, not even. it was an older venue um, and it was not, it wasn't the, and most the supplies were for, yeah. for putting an uh, IV in a person. Yes. yes. And IVs and all that. Yes. So literally, I guess I was on the table and they had a wire hanger with an IV in me because come to find out I was severely dehydrated. My body was just flushing out sodium, which is a problem. And, uh, I guess as it's flushing out the truth, but <laughs> we'll get to oh, that. Jeez. Lord have mercy. Go ahead. Go ahead. He likes to say that I interrupt him in real life. Yeah. That's, you know, yeah, it's just funny. This is on camera. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, so I guess he came in because he had, you know, already probably was in love with me at this point. He was bringing me drinks that. on the bus. And, oh, also a critical point is when we're overseas, we have two buses. Good guys and bad guys. Uh, <laughs> this, one, this one's, one's going to sting a little bit. This one's going to sting because it's the truth. You were a good guy. Were you a good guy or a bad guy? I don't remember. We were opposite buses. Until, until he couldn't stay away from me, apparently. And he hopped onto my bus. The broke kayfabe. He hopped onto my bus. Did you break kayfabe? <laughs> and listen, we weren't dating or anything. This is just still proof that he was, you know, really, really trying. And so here I am in the show. I didn't think Undertaker broke kayfabe. I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying he was on my bus. Okay. You know, I don't know. Maybe I was on the wrong bus. I was completely out of it, but I <laughs> think I was on the bus first. So for what it's worth. Um but I guess he had a match that night. I guess he was so worried about me. He came into the training room. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think people were trying to come in. He was keeping them out. You know, bless their hearts. They probably needed ankles taped and whatever else. And he's kicking them out of the training room. My future queen needed to be <laughs> taken care, care of. But apparently I was freezing. He put his coat over me and went to the ring that night without his coat. Whoa. Right? That doesn't happen either. So that was also, you know, people are now like, Tinker's. Walk into the ring, no coat. It's on Michelle, though, to keep her warm while like she's got an IV. Rules. and You know. So I, I was definitely sick. I really was. I don't remember the last three days of that tour. I don't remember how I got home to Florida, which, thank you to my dear husband. He arranged for a buddy who works for Delta to pick me up on the tarmac in Atlanta, right? In Atlanta. Because I was so sick. They wouldn't have let me on the plane. Excellent. I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, so he got me on that flight. My parents met me, I guess, picked me up straight off the, the airplane in Gainesville and straight to the hospital I went. 16 days later, woke up, but literally almost died. Um, Holy crap. Everything just completely shut down. And, you know, while I was in the hospital, a bunch of the guys and girls called. You know, ch I didn't know that, but they were checking on me. My parents gave me messages after I finally, finally came to. Um, and, of course, you know, he was calling to check on me. I was like, that's weird. And like, I mean, the girl almost died in my arms. You're just trying to, <laughs> just trying to I'm just trying to make I sure she's almost died okay. in your coat. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So anyway, that was like, okay, maybe he cares just a little more than I 
maybe some people are right. I think he's, I think he's got a crush. I was concerned about one of my coworkers. She was deathly ill. Yeah. Yeah. Which is understandable. You know, when I, when, you know, understandable. I, yeah. I think I showed my cards though on the on the flight. I had to be honest. I showed my cards. Like you have to. You, you just don't. It was a different mark. Man. <laughs> it, was, it was a different. It was a different taker. And and I don't think there was Mark then. No, Mark didn't exist really. Well, there was. It was uh, Mark B C before Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah she was she was really sick and i don't she may or may not have slept in my lap on the flight see i honest to god don't remember that her head did i really yeah that's I how think, did i never know this huh? you've never shared that no i think tori told you that like that was the thing like there was like when that happened it was like which is crazy because i honest to god don't remember yeah. that i don't remember getting home that's that, that. That's when I showed my hand. That's think. when he's like, "I'm gonna let the world know I don't care." So, so mm. that was it. There's that. But uh, yeah, well, so, and, yeah, and, and it's progressed into what we uh, what we see today. So well, hold on, first restaurant. I mean, you said that oh, you. Yeah. The, or, was, or did you take her? It was my type of fancy. Where'd you take her on her first <laughs> okay. date? I think so I took Amy to Olive Garden. No, it was I think, something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was like a TGI, Apple, TGI, Applebee's, yeah, Applebee's, or something, something like, like that. Like yeah, yeah. She came back to like. she came back to work, and my goodness, you had thought she had been in a concentration camp. <laughs> no, for real, dude. You could see was, every one of my like. You were what five foot ten? Yeah, five foot I lost, ten and a half. You were. She was. Like I went in the. I went in the. Oh my god! I went in the hospital at one forty. Which is where I normally am. I came out at one twelve. Holy which skin and bones! It's sixth grade weight. Yeah, it was awful. Like I couldn't for three months walk across the room without blacking out, and it was all due to how sodium. long did it take you before you were able to actually get back in the ring? Um, I had to reach my weight again. Um, I don't remember honestly how long it took, but I do know the weekend that I came back to work, somebody called and said, "Can I please pick you up from the airport?" Who was it? I'll kick their ass. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, I was on a cover. Me, um, Candace Michelle, and Kelly Kelly were on a cover of this magazine that had just come out, which was kind of a big deal back then because we didn't get that much recognition. And numb nuts over here, like I'm getting my bags from baggage claim. And he's like leaning. <laughs> <laughs> I've said, I've He's like leaning on the car outside, like this, waiting for me. I had my face covered up. <laughs> so, with the magazine. With the magazine you were so bro. stupid. <laughs> so anyway. See? Yeah. yeah. I got game, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's game. Yeah. I got game. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And I was like, okay, this guy. You're probably drooling over that magazine the uh, whole time, just waiting for her to come back to work. Uh, well, she didn't look like she did in that magazine. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I know it's been a while since I've seen her. Maybe I've made a mistake. But my wow. goodness, I don't know what kind of diet she's on. And look, you've had way more injuries where you, yeah, you've lost a lot of weight. I have all needed to. But. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that. So then I knew he was super interested. Then he courted and courted and courted. And I gave in. Yeah. Moment of weakness. Well, I think it's uh, turned out it's to, all right. to be it's all right. the, the better thing for you. And all right. I think what was really awesome was during your hall of fame speech how much i mean you gave michelle credit essentially for saving helping save your life i mean she helped lead you back to your your faith in god but also just settled you down as a human being i mean you know yeah you you, no. you had a you had a wild hair you know for a long time but you know she was able to you want to get into that and uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I think we're I, good I, I with that this episode. I want to do a shout out to our sponsor, Prize Picks. Download Prize Picks and try it out for yourself. I love using Prize Picks when I'm watching UFC or the NBA or even college basketball. It makes the experience as a fan so much more entertaining to watch. Remember, you're not picking teams, you're picking players. So make sure to get on Prize Picks, use my code six feet, or click the link in the description to get your first deposit and matched up to a hundred dollars. Prize Picks. Whenever you do find that person in your life, and I mean, you had no idea. You probably had no idea. It, 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 
going into the business that this was going to end up being your future. No. And the amount of slack that I caught just from dating him, I mean, legit. Two people she didn't want to meet. Yeah, you've said this, yeah. You? And Kane. And Kane. She found out Kane was probably the nicest she The nicest guy in the world. The world. <laughs> and me. And I married him. And I, yeah, she married me. <laughs> yeah. So she got, you know, she had that, 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 you know, I like that bad boy kind of deal. Kane somewhere. was a little too cool. It was, it, it was some kind of recessive gene in that she had that she didn't know she had. Yeah, you got uh, me. Yeah. That wore down, man. Was it, um, was it difficult dating and working together? And being on the road and all that stuff. I mean, like, there's, it's hard dating someone in the office space already. Like, if you work with somebody, it, that part's difficult I think to it's start. Different with. though, because if we didn't, then we wouldn't have seen each other at all. I mean, you know what I mean with that type of job. Yeah, it's hard. I, I think, fortunately, um, at this time, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to kind of sound you to mo- more people were intimidated by me at that point yeah ever before like nobody's nobody wanted to cross me I mean, it, it, yeah but you know i had to love you because the, the amount of you know she, that took, I got, she like, took a huge amount of grief obviously it's like oh okay now she's 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 dating the top guy now and and mind and, you i'm just saying there's people that date at top guys well i don't know if you call that dating that were with top guys what was well known yeah they didn't get that grief but I got a lot of slack. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't, not weird. only did his fans legitimately hate me because they think they're married to him or something, you yeah. know, it's like sometimes it's Everybody wants to like death threats. I know. I get it. I understand completely now. But, um, yeah, I've gotten them. Yeah. And we definitely don't date. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, we don't even it's date. Not at all. <laughs> weird. It's weird, isn't it? Like they think they, uh, anyway. So in that regard, I got it. And then, of course, anything I did or said, not any type of work I put in was, because I was married to, uh, not married at the time, dating The Undertaker. Yeah. Um, even from coworkers. And it was just like, gosh, dang, it, it wore on me a lot. Was there a, a jealousy factor, you think, that was there? Or did they feel like, oh, she's only doing this to try to get this? I mean, what was the... <sighs> I don't know even, what goes through mean, people's heads. I really don't. It really, it's um, it, it's kind of weird because, um, like, and, and it kind of gets into our talk our topic like the women didn't get a lot of opportunities None. back then anyway right and she made it to her credit she made it perfectly clear to me she goes you will not speak on my behalf yeah that i can see that i mean it was frustrating to me because like i knew i had that juice yeah you can walk I, in the office not and, that I, yeah. and, it, and i saw like i saw the frustration i saw the work that she put in like, storylines I, I literally I wished, wrote out storylines i wish yeah i mean i wish that the you know she, like she said like i never helped the girls because most of them were there they, they were only there for a stair step to go somewhere else most there were some but she she it was just a different her era. work ethic and, and and what she put into it um w- was different and it wasn't fair obviously i mean you, you know what you're getting into when you know, you cross that line, but it it wasn't fair because she. I just wanted more. Butt. Yeah, she worked her butt off, and she wasn't. And I say it all the time. People get tired of hearing me say it. Don't be content. Yeah. And there, there at that particular time in the in the industry for women, you had to fight. There so was a well. Much. There was a hard line. Yeah. There was a hard line of okay, this is as far as we're gonna go. Y'all were told at one point to not punch and kick. To not punch and kick. At all during our matches. Is it more just like slapping like, okay, and yeah. hair pulls mm-hmm. and that's what mm-hmm. they essentially wanted? Mm-hmm. Yep. That actually got banned after Lisa, Victoria and I had to redo our match because our punches looked too good. Yeah. You got in trouble with uh, um, Melina. Oh, yeah. For having a match that was too good. That was, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, they did some like, really we, innovative. We did a DDT on the barrier. Yeah. And that, like, back then was way too yeah. crazy for the girls. We got in trouble for doing that. And we didn't a- have to redo the match, but we got in trouble for that. Lisa, and, uh, Victoria, and I had to redo the match because we were told our punches look better than the guys. And at the time, one of the top guys was standing there, uh, Jericho, and he said, if their punches look better than the guys, that's a guy's problem. Yeah, that's not y'all's problem. We, had to, we thought they were ribbing us. 
and we literally had to go change our clothes, get back into our gear, go out and redo the match. So you went Without, back out to the same that's audience. That's the rule was made: no punching and kicking. Mm -hmm. Yep. You went in front of the same, same crowd. Audience. He was like, probably like, what on earth? Yeah. And mind you, our matches were two minutes, four minutes tops on a good with day, entrances. like with entrances. If we, and it's like, oh man, it was crazy. So. Why? Wow. I mean, it, but it but really I mean, is. there were there were times there was to this whole point where we're talking about. I remember a writer, a particular, <laughs> a particular writer, who I was on the show, and I fought, I'd, I'd write out detailed storylines weeks in advance, just trying, trying, trying. I was doing something on the show, walked in the writer's room, he's like, if she wasn't The Undertaker's wife, she wouldn't be on the show, and tore up the papers and tossed them. And I just happened to catch wind and walk by, and I was like, oh, okay. And I remember wow. he was hot, but I was like, I got this. I promise you, I got this. I was so mad. Uh, but it was stuff like that, you know from certain writers all the time. Um, definitely you're certain, already definitely a, certain girls that wouldn't say it inside the locker room, but then would go, you know. You're already in a position to where being a female wrestler is tough already. Oh, yeah. And they're trying to just two, three-minute matches, slap, hair yeah. pull. It's, yeah. you know, the lingerie matches. It's a lot of, you know, just a Tight lot dating. of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then now, on top of it, you're dating right. this dude. Right. And like that situation right there where it was, well, if she wasn't the Undertaker's girlfriend, yeah. if she yeah. wasn't dating him. Yeah, and there were several several times, like like he said, where he wanted to say something. I was like, mm -mm. that just brings more heat on me. Like, they, I can they handle it, but... They, they couldn't take away from your talent, though. What you were doing in the ring, though, was... But I was only doing it in the ring because of him. I was only allowed in that ring because of... There's... Okay. Everybody gets an opportunity, and how you get that opportunity sometimes varies right? right well if the door's been open for me just because i know someone and i walk through that door what i do once i walk through that door that's logical thinking that's what matters if i don't do a good job it's like getting a job if i got a job because my buddy knows somebody and he got but me you're a job logically here and i don't do a good job i'm gonna get fired and you also got to realize like with the girls in that time we were fighting for our spot like you're not getting two to three girls matches you might not get one and when you get that one, it might, like we said, be two, three, four minutes tops with entrances. So there were s however many girls fighting for that one spot. So I think there's some animosity. And when I did get that spot, I happened to be dating him for a while now. And, you know, people say what they want to say. I say a word. There was only one time he ever said something. I still asked him not to say something <laughs> to a certain somebody. <laughs> Because I'd already handled it, and uh -oh. it was weeks later anyway. But yeah. it became entertaining at that point. But we don't we don't have to go there. Um, well, with that being said, and the women's division now versus the way it was when you were oh when gosh. you were you know wrestling, and you are the first ever WWE Divas World Champion, and you know what three different titles in, uh, in your career I think or something like I that. Don't know. Today's women's division, which is they're, they're, they're headlining WrestleMania. Yeah. They're ma main of any so It's insane. Um, what do you think of today's uh, wrestling on the women in the women's division? And how much do you wish that you were wrestling today versus, you know, when you did wrestle? I mean, it's night and day, I think. Not so much wrestling today, but I wish we had those opportunities when I was there. I mean, we had some good talent, you know, I had some great matches with, with, with several different girls. There are some girls today that I would kill to, to be in the ring with, obviously, you know, yeah. Charlotte, Bianca, Naomi, like all these girls that I've been in the ring with now coming back for the rumbles, I would have killed to have even a 10 minute match, much less these 30 minute matches that they're having that are, you know, killer. But the amount of talent now is just, it's insane. You know, they've got this world-class training facility that they're, they're all coming through and, and you can tell, and the opportunities they're getting is, yeah. you know, the, is, is equal to the men. They're headbutting she, WrestleMania. Is she could hang with them right now if she wanted to. I do think I do think I could hang. No, no, you would you would more. She would still she would still excel. It, it would be nice because the, there are some very athletic girls that are on the roster right now that would allow her to do more than what she could do even yeah. back then. So it, I. You it's know, crazy. You'll see too, and you'll see through social media. You know they they beg for you to come back mm -hmm. all the time, and 
just kind of around Rumble. Huh? <laughs> I'm just kind of around Rumble. Well, no, but I no, mean, no, no, you no, do no, get in that match, you, and I'm like, there's, there's a lot of people that that, that want to see you wrestle Charlotte. Yeah, that which, has that has been a thing for a I while, mean, which would be I would amazing. Pay money. I mean, I, I would love to. See would you do that if they asked you? Yeah. Yeah, I'd do that. I mean, when I go back, and seriously, if, uh, not just the ones I mentioned, but you know, Liv Morgan, Alexa Blit, like everybody's so easy to work with. It's insane. It's like. It's easy. They're so it wasn't talented easy that back could, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure that they could come over barricade in their Uggs. I mean, out of the crowd and jump in and hat takes a it. special talent. And sweat I tell you, pants and <laughs> sweat pants and Uggs, man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, even your sweats, even your sweats like not only the Sorry. queen of camo, she's the queen of queen Uggs. Of Uggs. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm yeah, mean, works yeah. out in Uggs, everything, everything in Uggs, yeah, but. Um, yeah, I mean, the only I think I mean the only downside of that it was that would leave me at home with the kids, and they they <sighs> kids wouldn't be happy. And the no, kids, not no, 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 they would be miserable. <laughs> yes, they would. Yeah, I, yeah, I would be extremely would be jealous. Yeah, the kids would be miserable, and oh, she'd be out there working with you know. Even when I uh, I'll text Mark, and uh, it'd just be the simplest thing, you know, just say it could be a one word answer. Mm-hmm. He'll usually text me about ten o'clock at night after all of y'all have gone to yeah. bed. Everything goes. I was on daddy duty today, brother. Look, Sorry. Home, where, where were you? you? You were just gone for what five days somewhere. Where were you? Where did that? that Rumble. Go? That your show. Well, I okay. was at the yeah. I was at the Rumble. You were just gone. Yes. He comes home, and flight got canceled. So that's another day sleeping solo in a hotel, probably having room service. But but that's, that's just at the point. The you, stress. You could not help it. I know the stress of travel. He comes home the next day. I don't know, two o'clock or so. I'm like. Man, I'm tired. What are you tired from? That's what like, he asked you. I could you. punch you in the throat right now. Why am I tired? Man. I don't know. What? Momming. Life. I mean, what? why are you looking at me like that? Brother, I don't have kids. And I know. Let me tell you something. So, Amy works with in the hospital with sick babies. I'm never going to look at Amy and go, why are you, why tired? Are you so tired? I talk in a microphone and like go shoot guns most of the days of my life. Like I, I can't. I'm not allowed That'll to be tired. Wear you out. I'm not allowed to be tired. Do you know how <laughs> oh, much yeah. thinking <laughs> it takes? Yes, I and, do know and, how much and, thinking it takes for you to like do anything. <laughs> but I will think something through. Well, hey, we'll go. I either, I'll 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 I mean, I'm no, either no, no, one no, end no, of the no, spectrum. No. I'll, or the other. no, I'll ask him a question. It could be like, "What do you want to eat for dinner?" Or do you want to have this for dinner? Ten minutes later, I'll go. Would you answer my question? Like, did you ever answer me? I think so, or cheese is it going to be? I, 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 I sometimes I put a lot of thought into in the yeah. apps. Yeah, yeah, and that is that is it's exhausting <laughs> to to apply that much. Huh. Um, I believe you. <laughs> who do you like right now in the women's division? Who's your oh like person that you're on the edge just to watch wrestle? I mean, there's seriously there's so many. I love watching Bianca. Yeah, her strength is. Unmatched oh my gosh! Yeah. From any like, I've told you that before. Yeah. I said she just know, looks different in the ring. Try to give you know these past girls all this credit, and there were a lot of strong girls. There, she, I was never the one that was getting lifted and tossed around, and in one match with her, I got lifted and tossed around real easy. And I was like, that's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> like nobody, she just like ragdolled me. I was like, she is a strong human being. She's athletic. She, she is and so athletic, athletic so yeah. athletic. Um, so that would be fun. Obviously, Charlotte is. Insanely athletic. She's the ghost. She I mean, is so athletic. Um, you know, I love Nia Jax. I think she's been underestimated for quite some time, and I love working with her. Um, but I like Oscar. I'm going to be, I'm going to, I don't know if I can duck that fast anymore. You better. But uh, you yeah. better. I, I can only take one. I mean, I, no, I like, no, but I, I like, because she, she can work with everybody. She can work with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. There, I like the uh, storyline that they got Rhea Ripley in right now. Too. Oh, you know who I'd love to work with? Bailey. I'd love yeah. to work with Bailey. Bailey. That was a shocker to me. No, she, I'm so happy for her. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, Not a I'm shocker happy that, for but it. Yeah, but I'm that, glad that they gave that to her. That one caught me off guard. I, I just, cause I'm glad they gave that she's, to her. She's kind of been on a different kind of trajectory. And then. Uh, and she got hurt. She came got hurt. back. A lot of things happened. There's nobody more deserving. Yeah. I mean, she really. Nobody more deserving. Yeah. Yep. That she, was a nice, that was a I nice was surprise. I'm so happy for her. And I'd love to work with her. And what they did on that Friday night SmackDown when she turned on the. Oh, damage on, control, yeah. Yeah, on damage control. That yeah. was all very well done, so, yeah. yeah. I'd love to work with Bailey. 
yeah. she'd be fun. She'd be fun. I, I would like, personally, I would like to see you work with Charlotte. Rhea was fun when I mixed it up with her. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about Rhea. Rhea could go, too. But, you know, Dominic asked if I could be in the Judgment Day. Damien said he may have crossed that line. You know, it was a line he probably didn't want to cross with you. But Well, if he hadn't have been on on your knee when he was four. I That's true. Know. I know. A little weird. I know. <laughs> a little Dom Dom and Aaliyah coming yeah, along. Yeah, that right. was uh, a... <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a funny uh, social media thing they did there. That was and, funny. Yeah, was like, and it was... Uh, two mummies. Yeah, two mummies. Two mummies. <laughs> that, was, that was a little... It's granddaddy. You better worry about <laughs> that's, that. Yeah, that's... Man, what a storyline there. Oh, what if you... What if you join that and uh, I mean, then you and Dominique have a little uh, heat there, <laughs> and uh, and then you know when Charlotte gets healthy, all of a sudden, man, there's. I have a feeling she was, she's going to get healthier quicker this. than anybody ever gotten healthier before. Like she, yeah, she, she's a different animal. She's she's a different animal. She's that flair. She's, she's a total uh, yeah. It does it. Uh, they yeah. don't get hurt for some reason, and uh, just yeah. They don't know how to stop. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's what, 15, 16 time as well? Oh, Somewhere yeah, she's up there. there. She's up there. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's got. I don't too think many. in 10 years we had 15, 16 matches that. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be, no, that would be, that would, that would be fun. You know, I mean. I'd, I'd love to watch, because, I mean, she's worked, being there that long and, and having that, I mean, she's obviously worked with everybody. Yeah. I, I would I would like to see that. I think it's Thank really you. insane that you can take the women's division now and you can lay out seven or eight matches. That... Well, that's the thing. You have so many options. And I think yeah. Natty's still in that mix. Natty and I had oh, some yeah. great matches yeah. in the little time that, you know, we were given. We had the first table. She may match. be in better shape today. She is. I tell her that all the time. I'm like, you look better than I've ever seen you before. Yeah. She looks amazing. Um, we had the first tables match, you know where the table was supposed to break on the first time, but it didn't, and that wasn't much fun. But, uh, <laughs> um, you know, she can go. She can go, and I love watching her being able to showcase, you know, that a little bit more today. Yeah, she can. Uh, it's definitely a, a, I, I don't, you know, a I don't hold think it I, ball game. I don't think I'd ever expected the women's division to be where it's at. Uh, I mean, they, I think there's, there's, I might get a little heat, but that's. Uh-oh. Well, no, I think there's some that do some things that they probably shouldn't, that they're not quite ready. Because there, are, because there are some very athletic girls out there. There's some girls that do some things that they probably shouldn't. It looks kind of yeah, but I mean, as a overall, as a group, and it's, I mean, it's as as strong as it's you know it's ever been. Yeah, I'll um, tell you my favorite thing though that I did. If you want to know, <laughs> working with May Young Amula. I May mean, what? Who go like back to the vets? That's, that's your, exactly. Yeah, See, like talking about legends. Yeah. Legends, and I mean, I've probably been called these things. No, no one I know I haven't been called, but <laughs> for sure. <laughs> May Young. Young went off script like she always does. They had to take the mics from her, but she started calling me and Layla. I don't even cuss, but <laughs> yep, and you young and the, and sluts, <laughs> and I was like. And you're trying not to laugh, and it was just hilarious. And she's chasing us, and they're literally, I'm a little scared. She's she probably she beat awesome. my tail. Yeah, she, I mean, she was in her tail. late 80s. And when her she did that, yeah. Wasn't, wasn't that great. No, and she, she was, was coming after us. And, Oof, and I would take every one of them again. Power bombed by the Dutch. That's when she was sexy yeah. or something. Uh, yeah. Delivered a hand. Yeah. She was just a trip. Oh, man. Jeez. She, yeah. That was my um, well, I mean, it's, speaking. Go ahead. No, go. I was going to say it'd be fun to see a a, a lay cool reunion too. I agree. Yeah. Who I would? Agree. Okay. I okay. Agree. A lay cool reunion. Yep. Who are you wrestling? Who's your uh, ideal match? I'm trying to think what tag team. So when the Iconics were there, I thought that'd be pretty good because they kind of acted a little bit like lay cool. Um, right now, uh, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care who we go up against. I feel like you want to get back in the ring, Michelle. I think a lay cool reunion would be fun. I think we were, we were, we were funny. <laughs> we weren't always nice, no, and I did hate that part. That part was hard. I mean, for she, me. except the, the piggy Jane. That was awful. She loved. That she do not. That is. No. A, you know that's a lie. She stayed that up late. Awful. That's the only time she ever stayed up late at night was writing the piggy James stuff. Like she didn't even have writers. You better. <laughs> Stop I'm totally right lying. now. I I'm totally up. lying. She that bothered her more than <laughs> And Mickey knows too. I would go up to her before almost every pre tape. I'm like, this is what the you know No I I'm didn't. sorry. And she was I will say she was the 
best storyline wise to work with because she, got she didn't complain. She got it. She, she got knew it. it was for a purpose. Not everybody knew it was for a purpose. Hey, hey it ain't wrestling unless you got something stirred up. You got it. Yeah. yeah. No, that. No, she got it. There are a lot of girls that would smile in the locker room, then go complain, and things got changed. But that was our character. Mickey, she got it. She got it. Natty, she got it. Kelly Kelly, she got it. Not many others got it. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of guys. There like you go. That too. Well, I, I I said it a second ago, but it seems like you want to get back in the ring. Like I, you, I, heard you say I I'm I'm. I wouldn't say want. There's I, I could. There's but I there's some like select matches that you would like to get like, back in the ring for. I mean, I would probably not turn down a rumble. Um. But, I mean, you're talking about wanting to get in a singles match. You know, y'all are talking about me getting to a singles <laughs> match, potentially. <laughs> Let's not get it twisted. I just, I mean, I don't know how you're going to do it with the kids, but other than that. Yeah, like, you're going to have them backstage like I always do. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm talking to the front row like she does for well, your matches. That'd be great. You wouldn't get bothered at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> Kelly would be right there on them. Oh, yeah. yeah he would be right there. <laughs> yeah. It'd be nice and simple. Uh, yeah. I but I know I, I feel like I think the world would love to see uh, uh, a Michelle McCool versus a, a, a Charlotte Flair as well. And and, and you and Charlotte are y'all cordial? Are you oh, friends? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, are yeah. you one thousand percent? Has that conversation ever happened? Um, casually, not like like an interview. She said it. Um, I'm sure I've said it, uh, but nothing serious. No. Let's make this happen. It's normally Triple the, the H. WWE Come on. That puts it out there on social Internet, media. make it happen. Triple H, make this happen. Come yeah, on. And I, I might need Layla by my side to handle, you know, young Charlotte and her uh, superb athleticism. But Man, gosh. <laughs> Here's the storyline. You versus Charlotte. I can see it happening now. Oh, boy. She's... Uh, she is going to tombstone you mm -hmm. just to, you know. Let her know. Flair runs down, throws a chair in there. <laughs> she tombstones you. You break your neck. Me or him? <laughs> he's, got, he's going somewhere. He's going to where the... Taker runs in, saves his wife, beats up Flair, beats up, beats up Rick. And, um, and y'all just all ride off in the sunset. Yeah. See why we got to make it about him? Not yeah. trying to make it about him, but um, about that's the him? only way what that Charlotte him? could win is by cheating. Uh, that's the only way she could win wow. this match. That's a major suck-up right Charlotte, there. But that's the only way she could win. That's a major suck-up right So, there. Michelle, um, one last thing that I have for you, one last question I have for you. Who's the first person you think whenever you are inducted into the Hall of Fame? Who's the first person I what? Thank that you'll be thinking because you and because it'll be the only reason I get into the Hall of Fame. That is BS. <laughs> that is Thank BS. you to the Undertaker. Why so... are you not in the Hall of Fame, Michelle? Why are you not in the Hall of because Fame? Because there's a lot of girls that deserve it before me. It isn't her decision. I don't know who makes the decisions, but I agree with you 100. But there are a lot of people that I think should be in there before. Before you? I mean, in the female division? I think Victoria should be in there. I think. I mean, she did a lot for the women. She was wrestling hard back in her day when and she was a hoe i mean when you come in as one of godfather's yes. hoes like that's that's pretty cool was victoria no mm -mm. Mm -mm. no Somebody's no well, the well, yeah no gonna, but neither gonna... one of them are hoes let me clarify <laughs> no, this. neither not, one of my dear friends about. are hoes <laughs> they're neither neither one of them are hoes but no they but were, lisa they were... was part of, victoria was part of the hoe train. will the hoe train get an induction they might. into now, the if the hall... hoe train gets an induction before i do then i will say there's somebody in there before me that should not be yeah, but otherwise i would be pissed if the hoe train... <laughs> that'd actually be kind of funny <laughs> it's like it's gonna turn it now it's gonna turn into a running gag like oh yeah there's a that's let's fine. put Michelle. No, no, let's wait another year. But we were kind of that forgotten era. So you had the Attitude Era, then you had the Divas Era, and then you have the Women's Evolution. And a lot of times we get overlooked as any era. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think there, there is one thing, and she won't, she won't take credit for it. But uh, she was such an, she was such an advocate um, for the women. Like, um, 
I, I don't know that it necessarily, I mean, it did kind of at the end, you, you, you got, I think a few more opportunities at, at the end, but I think the, she was such an advocate for, for women. And, um, I think today's women, um, I don't know that without people like Michelle and, and Mickey, who really fought those fights for, you know, which seemed like they were unwinnable battles to, you know, I think it's paid off down the line, um, for, for, for this generation. Um, so, you know, I, that's kind of the, for me, wanting to see her work with somebody like a Charlotte or a Bailey or a Rhea or Bianca, it would be kind of, uh, you know, for, for me, it would be like, you know what? It came late, but it, but it paid off all the, all the, I told all the you work. so type of thing. It, it, well, yeah, it, 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 it was, it was, she just didn't advocate for herself is my point. Like she advocated for all the women. No, that and that's it. That's the hard thing. Cause a lot of times yeah. people think it's just a one way show. And I never thought that I got it. Like we're working together. This doesn't work if I don't have somebody to work with. Like I wasn't writing storylines just for myself. I was writing storylines for whoever I was working with to make it go somewhere, you know? Um, and a lot of times people were in it just for themselves and they couldn't see like, you can't do this by yourself. Like this is a business, but we have to work together to make any type of magic happen. And, um, and like we said, Mickey was great about that. Melina was great about that. Um, Natty was great about that. Kelly Kelly was great about that. Um, so it wasn't just me, but I definitely fall for, for all the women because I couldn't do it. Can't do it by myself. Is that what you're most proud of with your career is what you did backstage for the rest of the women as well? Yeah, I can look myself in the mirror and know what I did and know what I contributed and know the work that I put in to any little moment that I was given. And, um, you know, Layla was a huge part of that as well at the end of, at the end of, uh, end of our career. And, um, that was really that sad, was, man. What? When you lost the loser league. That was a good match. We got, no, I no, no. Got, I'm talking about, no, but I, I think mean, we got emotionally 12, invested in it. Not just because you're my wife. Minutes. I think we got 12 minutes. Y'all did. Night, with interest. Y'all tore it down. And down. with karma coming out. Yeah. So we probably had like an eight minute match. That was my favorite, probably one of my top three favorite matches. Um, that was the thing too. When I came back, people were like, I can't believe you did that. Talking about letting karma come out there and lay me out. And I'm like, what do you mean? You can't believe I did that. Like I'm leaving. It's a business. Why would I not do that? It was actually Triple H said, thank you for doing that. And I'm like, You're why are you thanking right me? Thing, yeah. Like, <laughs> what that is the right thing. Like, I don't, I don't get it. But, um, you know, and poor Layla, she was guilty by association a lot of the times. But, um, I mean, there was once there was a Lumberjill match that I was in. All the girls were on the outside, both locker rooms. And I knew there were some girls talking behind my back. And I remember specifically saying, Natty. You know, when I'm going on the outside, everybody's attacking me, like all 20 of them. I said, if it gets real, back up because I'm coming up. I'm swinging. I am coming up <laughs> swinging so you get out of the way. But everybody else, fair game. She goes, all right, I got you. I got you, Michelle. But that's how it was. Like, people didn't like that Layla and I were on both shows. They didn't like, you know, the attention we were getting. And This is how I want to end this episode. I want you to end the episode, and I just want you to tell the audience, how you know, wonderful I am. how great this woman is, and how much. <sighs> how much uh, time you have? <laughs> Ooh, wow! Look at the time. Yeah. No, I'm. I feel very, very blessed to be married to this this young lady right here. Uh, well, I think. I mean, I, I mean, I obviously I had to wait a while for her to grow up before I did that, but. <laughs> You got it. You got it. Oh, man. But, no, she's, she. If I'm ever on here again, I'm talking about McCool's and how much they've ribbed you. All their future episodes. And so. yeah. well, anyway, things that, y'all cut know, me off. I'm how afraid. we keep you humble. Just saying. I am humble. I am as humble because as Because people humble. have to keep you humble. No. Uh, Matt, seriously, do you have to keep me humble? Yes. Oh, jeez. I do it constantly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I, I was back say, to how much you love probably, me. You are probably the most, or one of top three, Eyes. top three most influential people. Top three. <laughs> top three. Who are the top three? One I can't mention right now. Oh. Bad. <laughs> okay, I'll take yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you, girl, you had your hands full. Had? 
No, well, yeah. I mean, you got your hands full now, but it's a whole. I mean, they were definitely yes, yes. You took. They're you, not as full. You took no. They're but not they're pretty asshole. heavy. They're heavy. But I've got big hands. They're heavy. They're heavy. But your problems are much different now than what they very, used to be. Very. There's. That's real talk. That see, that's real, real talk. And that's you. 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 You brought me. You brought me a long way, and I'm very grateful for that. Because I'm. Full of shit. Flawless. I'm sugar. <laughs> no, you are. No, she is. She is. She is flawless. I'm full of shit. But uh, we all agree with that. I, I, that's okay. I'm good with that. But uh, no, I feel I, I'm very blessed and I'm lucky that I'm married to the Queen of Camo. And Queen of Camo. I'll take that new title. I I, like I it. love it. I yeah. like it. Yeah, it suits her. Well, Michelle. I would like to say thank you for adding some intelligence to the podcast, some, truth. some beauty to the podcast. It gets hard truth. carrying all that myself. So. I understand. Yeah. Um, I understand. And also just bringing a little bit of humbleness to the big man over here. I mean, you know. The audience is always asking for it. So <laughs> They're asking, please be humble. Somebody, please. <laughs> hey, babe. Time to go. Thanks for coming. Got to go get the kids. Yes. Okay. You're wonderful. I'm on it. You're beautiful. Thanks. I love you. Love you too. I hope that you come back so that we can actually dive into some of these uh, McCool ribs Blooper. that I've heard. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. pretty great. Highly overrated. <laughs> actually, that's my dad's line when people say, oh, it must be so cool to have The Undertaker as a son-in-law. He's like, he's overrated. <laughs>